Now, at the second trial, the witnesses have been given a chance to speak up at the court and say nothing but the truth and only the truth. At this point as well, it shows that the witnesses are being fan of the school crew. Like, they are also teamed up with these teachers. But still, truth shows that it is written on the medical assessment that they have detected that these kids are truly being sexually harassed. And they win at this second trial and they eat outside to celebrate it. And small things can really make them happy and I'm also happy for them as well. Now at the third trial, the victims are now being interviewed and this kid said that it happened a lot of times, including the one she was taped in the chair and raped her and beaten up by this man. Now after the trial, one of the court invited in Hu for a dinner and he was surprised that the other lawyer, like the lawyer of the rapist were there and offered him money and he didn't accept it. He really loved those innocent kids and he's going to really fight for them and I hope that there's a lot of people like him in this world. Now at the fourth trial, Inhu mother came scolding him and shouting that why is he supporting and fighting for those kids but he can't fight for his only child. Inhu just ignored his mother and showed her what truly is this kid's situation. And then there goes Yudong, who showed strength and confidence in confessing the story. And everything was proved nicely. That is the time where Inhu mother supported Inhu for fighting for this kid's justice because what happened to Yudong is really horrible. Now, at the next situation for the last one, when Yumi came to the house of Minsu to ask for his parents, the lady teacher was already there and already had the document that the mother just asked for forgiveness at the court and didn't fight for Minsu's. Inhu told Minsu about what happened, and Minsu can't believe that his parents can't fight for his right and he hated her mother because of it. That is the saddest part of all time. Minsu was really crying a lot. He was hurt and I feel the same way as well. Now after this, you don't wake up in hope that there is something that she wants to tell him about the pornography video in the office of the principal. Then Inhu and Yumi go ahead and sneak out of the principal's office and and then he saw a video that Yuri is being raped up the table and Inhu didn't think of any second thoughts. He directly gave it to the lawyer for an evidence and the day has come. Now at the final trial, the court had decided that there will be just a two-year suspension at work for the teacher who raped the boy and one-year suspension at the service for the principal and administrator and all of them will just receive a six-month imprisonment in jail, which is very devastating. The activists for human rights can't believe what just happened. Some of them are blaming the lawyer because they he didn't show the CCTV footage that these kids were being really raped. And Inhu was at shocked and in pain that time. He can't believe that it is happening. He can't believe that those are just light sentences that were given to them. And they were all mad and those girls are crying. Using their last night of freedom to go out partying, the Lee brothers are last seen laughing that the judge was so easy to pay off for a light sentence. As the teacher Park leaves the party and walks home, he bumps into Minsu along the way, attempting to force the boy to come to his home to be raped once more. Park is shocked when Minsu stabbed him in the side with a knife, having fallen to despair at his grandmother giving away his chance to put Mark away for good, Park brushing off the stabbing, smacks Minzo to the ground where he begins visually beating and kicking the boy. 
proclaiming that before he goes to prison, he's going to beat Minsu to death as he prepares to finish Minsu off. Park is overpowered by the boy, who flings the both of them onto a nearby railroad truck. As a coming train barrels to ride them, Park begins screaming at Minsu, but using Park's knife wand keeps Park held down. Ultimately, the train runs over both the screaming Park and Minsu, the latter refusing to let the rapist get away this time with his axe, and the boy, both of them, are just killed. And it is too late that Inyo and Lumi arrived. Minsu was already there. Such a horrible life that he had. And as the morning goes by, it's the ceremony of Minsu's death and it was placed in front of the building of the court. The activist was protesting and they can't win because the police are too many and there were tons of water splash into them. Still, Inhu stands up and goes into the middle of the fight and saying in behalf of Minsu that I can't hear anything, I can't say nothing, and everyone is being rude. Please listen, everyone. I can't speak. I can't hear. Why are you doing all of this? After all what happened, Yumi is still rescuing kids who suffers the same situation. She took good care of them and even celebrated Christmas with them. Inho now is reminiscing what happened and still showing love to Minsu, even if Minsu is dead. Unfortunately, there are many barriers that exist for the disabled people. They have no qualifications, government don't give them attention, they miss a lot of social events like their family gathering, when in fact, the solutions are just simple. When the government, organizations, companies, and individuals work together on removing these barriers, disabled people will be fully included in the society. We should show the world how amazing they are and demand for fair inclusivity. We will get there eventually. Have you seen the situation before? Are you going to do the same if you are the teacher? Comment your opinion down below and let's share our ideas. Like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.